Newport News in Review starts right now. Hello, I'm Aaron Pritchett and welcome to this edition of Newport News in Review for the month of January 2010. Or is it 2010? Well, no matter what we finally decide to end up calling it, we gladly welcome in a new year and the beginning of a brand new decade, full of many hopes, dreams, and yes, plenty of challenges. And as we venture out on this journey of new beginnings, we take you to a place that's actually in the business of taking what is old and making it somewhat new again. So much so that it's helping the city save money and more importantly, ensuring a much earth friendlier environment for generations to come. As we bring the show to you from the very remarkable Newport News compost and drop off facility at 500 Atkinson Way in the Denby section of Newport News. It may not look like much to many people, but this very busy 10 acre site with its piles and piles of leaves and other debris has been a valuable resource to citizens and businesses alike for the last 19 years providing the perfect place to properly dispose of unwanted items and giving the public the opportunity to pick up everything from mulch to compost for their gardens and yards as a way to beautify and ultimately give back to the environment. But this site is also reminded of its much larger past with its very evident towering mound that served as the city's second landfill location from 1984 to 1996. That, of course, was until it was capped when the city reached an agreement to have its trash deposited at the Bethel Landfill in Hampton. So it was then that the compost facility was moved from one side of the landfill to the other to make way for the construction of the Stony Run Athletic Complex and giving this site a much bigger home and the opportunity to focus in on serving its customers and this city. From taking in over 13,000 tons of leaves from city streets in the fiscal year of 2009 that were then broken up and decomposed to produce compost to the over 4,000 tons of brush that was ground up to produce mulch to sell to the public and also used on various city projects to the almost 200 tons of scrap metal that was received and properly recycled. It is these impressive facts and figures and what goes on here each and every day throughout the year that has helped to bring in over $220,000 in revenue and more importantly save the city over a half a million dollars in keeping these materials out of the landfill. We are proud to feature the Newport News compost and drop-off facility and encourage you to do your part to help the environment by dropping off your old tires, metal, brush and debris or picking up the many wonderful mulch and compost products that this facility offers all year long. Well, January's been another busy month, so let's take a look at what's been going on right here in the city of Newport News. Carefully chipping away at history in an effort to uncover the real story behind 220 tons of artifacts of the USS Monitor as we take you behind the scenes at the Mariner's Museum in the largest state-of-the-art artifacts conservation facilities on the East Coast to get you up to speed on what's been going on to conserve the most famous Civil War ironclads in history. It's the tie that binds, or is it the yarn that binds? Well, this loosely knit group of ladies know best as they've been busy using their hands to creatively create some of the warmest items around that are sent out to warm the hearts, the heads, and the hands of those in need. Michael and it's more than meets the eye as this new group of police academy graduates begin the process of a bright career with the Newport News Police Department. But getting to this point was no easy feat as we give you a taste of what 22 weeks of intense recruit academy training is all about. Fire. 